My name is Jordan Dooley, and I'm with the Sun Valley Museum of Art. Thank you for joining me today for our Art Therapy Community Open Studio. I'd like to share with you a little bit today about our big idea and exhibition, Free Play. You can use this virtual studio as a way to explore the concepts on your own through art making projects. Each week for the next several weeks, I'll be posting projects that coincide with one of the artists from our Big Idea exhibition. Each project will help you delve deeper into the artist and into their works so that you can better relate to some of their art and also practice getting creative on your own. To get started today, I'd like to introduce you to our exhibition, Free Play. Please watch the short clip. I'm Courtney Gilbert. I'm the Curator of Visual Arts at Sun Valley Museum of Art. And last week, we finished installing our spring exhibition, which is called Free Play. Um, Free Play, like a lot of our exhibitions, is part of a larger Big Idea project. And it um, investigates the idea that unstructured play is an activity that has a huge amount of value for people of all ages. Um, that Play can be a form of building community, that play brings people together in unexpected ways, that it can trigger innovation and creativity. For our first community open studio, we'll be focusing on Tucker Nichols' work. We'll be creating collages for community, which will be a combination of artistic techniques that Tucker Nichols uses, and then also a game of tag, since after all, our exhibition is called Free Play. Looking first at Tucker Nichols' paintings, you'll see that he takes the ordinary object and makes it extraordinary by focusing in on it and using bright colors. He approaches the world with a playful attitude and spends time being mindful of what's around him, such as a bowl full of marbles and containers stacked in a cargo ship. Next, we'll look at his installation, Starfield Simulator. This installation also shows Nichols' playful attitude by inviting viewers into play with the art materials and create their own constellation. I challenge you to take the same playful attitude as Nichols and look around us at our community. See what you can find that may be ordinary and maybe seemingly unextraordinary to some, but is super important to you. Maybe it's a place, a place that you're used to going to on an ordinary basis, but for whatever reason can't anymore. Think about what makes you grateful for that place when it is open. Maybe it's a thing Maybe it's the rocks outside or the aspen trees blooming in spring. Something that's ordinary that maybe goes unnoticed a lot of the time. Maybe it's a person, someone special to you that brings joy to you every day. Think about whatever that is and put them together to make a collage of this one ordinary thing, place or person. I invite you to use glue. You can use glitter glue. You can use regular Elmer's glue. You'll need to have scissors available to cut out items. You'll want magazines or potentially some newspapers for clipping. You might want to use watercolors if you have them or other paints. And also markers can be a nice addition. You might have some clippings or photographs of your own that you can use. Whatever you decide to use, I'd like you to really focus in on that person, place, or object and think about why you're grateful for it. What makes it special in your life? Maybe you can think of something to symbolize it or a word that stands for it. Whatever it is, hone into it and create a piece that really describes your gratitude. After you've finished your collage, it might be similar or different to this one that I have here. Either way, it should be different elements coming together to demonstrate something in the community that you are grateful for. Now that you've finished your collage, you're ready to participate in our Feel Better movement, Collages for a Community. To participate, take a photo of your collage and post it on social media. Tag us at at Sun Valley Museum or at SBMOA underscore JPC and then tag a friend. It's important that you tag a friend because we're trying to get the community involved in what we think of as a game of tag, Feel Better Tag. Each person that's tagged will have the opportunity to create their own collage. Make sure that you explain to them what they should be looking at when creating their collage. So have them think about something that they're grateful for as well. Once they're finished, they'll go through the same pattern as you, where they will take a photo, post it, and tag us and tag a friend. Hopefully, we'll get to reach all of the community. Ready, set, tag, you're it.